Yeah. Tell us who you are, where you're from, what brings you to this. Okay. Um, my name is Nancy McLaren, and um, hold, hold on, hey oh. Matt, guys, can we? Uh, We're having a really important thing? interview okay, over that's here. Right. <laughs> um, Nancy McLaren. Hold on, I, start out. Let's give it a little running start. And not. Okay. Um, my name is Nancy McLaren. I work at Stores Congregational Church as the minister for faith formation and discipleship. And um, I came here. This is my third Music That Makes Community conference, and I actually come. Um, for like personal reasons it every year or every time I've come I have walked away like feeling 10 pounds lighter emotionally and spiritually uplifted and a lot of it I've brought what I've learned I've brought home with me to my congregation and um, employed some of the things I've learned but most of it has come through just like the way that my spirit is transformed in my time here cool so tell me um, a little bit about uh, for people who have never been to a music yeah. that makes community tell about what your expectations were going in about what you were going to learn and then what you ended up learning yes okay so when I went to my first one which was in 2008 I think um, my expectation was very much what ended up coming to pass which was that I would learn how to um, lead music for um, in with paperless um, lead paperless music um, and to like basically overcome or incorporate my lack of uh, trained music skills and allow my natural music skills to be the leader of, 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 um, of the work I was trying to do. In reality, what I came away with was this other thing that I talked about of feeling spiritually uplifted and having language to talk about um, how music does make community and to speak about, um, have some like intelligent thoughts to share with my congregation back home about why music matters beyond the choir. So um, that was what I walked away with. And then the second time, I feel like I went expecting the same spiritual sort of transformation, and it was slightly different that time. That time I walked away wanting to play the drum. <laughs> um, so I got a drum. Um, and I, I also left that time feeling, I was at a different place in my ministry, so I left that time feeling um, equipped to face some of the um, challenges that I um, encountered when I came home from the first time wanting to incorporate music, if that makes sense. Um, so this time we'll see what happens, see what's in store. <laughs> and what have you noticed that you lead music any differently as a result of having been to yeah. these conferences? Well definitely more less anxiously, that's for sure. And I, I feel like I've learned little tricks, tricks of the trade here and there. Um, really simple things that have to do with like breathing and um, preparation and um, I've picked up a bunch more songs. Um, um, what else? Um, yeah, I think I've just gotten more comfortable because I've gotten so much, so much more experience and feedback um, and encouragement, most of all. I'm not so scared of it anymore. <laughs> so that's huge. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs>